Welcome to the kitchen. Thank you. So glad to have you here cooking with us. Introduce yourself. My name is Angela O'Neill, and I am the founder and president of Menswear Incorporated. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is that? Well, MENS is an acronym for Making Employment the Next Step. Okay, so it's all about employment? Yes, we're a workforce development agency. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. And we'll get more into that as we get through the show and start our cooking. But if you've watched the show, you know right now we have to reveal what we're cooking to our guest. She has no idea what we're cooking, so this is going to be a surprise for her. And we have it cloaked under what we call the beach towel of deception. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to see the I'm ingredients? I'm ready. I am. All right, here we go. Ah, there we go. Lots okay. of ingredients today. Yes. Oh, I love the pastry puff. I love that. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I, I'll, uh, mm. there, there are a lot of eggs. The eggs are not used for a dessert item. That's, ah. that's a hint. Okay. And there are three different recipes. Three different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any guesses? My first guess will be quiche. She nailed it. Nailed See, I'm it. like him. I love to cook. <laughs> yes. I got a foodie in here. <laughs> um, the other one you probably won't guess. Okay, because I'm like, I'm a little uh, lost one, on the, the other one. The, the okay. one, one that actually, we actually have to cook. We're going to do uh, dark chocolate health bars. Okay. You don't understand how much I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was a good good uh, assumption. You know, most people like chocolate. Uh, and we're also going to do fresh squeezed orange juice. Awesome. Now, the reason why we're doing all this is you're all about getting people employed, getting mm -hmm. them ready, mm -hmm. preparedness. Well, one of the things you can do to get prepared is get your mind right. Yes. These are all brain foods. Yes, I love it. The dark chocolate, we've got some nuts that have omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. The, uh, like I said, the orange juice. We've got spinach. Mm -hmm. um, we, the eggs are actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of uh, different ingredients that are good brain foods. Yes, high five. Yes, <laughs> you ready to get this going? I'm ready. When we come back, we'll start the healthy, dark chocolate breakfast bars. We'll be right back. We're gonna get started on these dark chocolate bars because they need to, once we finish, they're gonna go in the freezer and kind of sit. So we'll do those first. Okay. And then we're gonna do our orange juice. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do the quiche last. And by the time the quiche is done cooking, Everything will be ready to sample. All right. I can't wait. All right, to start, I'm going to get you working on the food processor. Okay. Because some of our ingredients are, uh, they work better when they're processed. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a cup. We need a cup of nuts, a cup of dried fruit, and a. Uh, we're also going to work with, right now, we're going to work with um, a cup of the the. Uh, the oats. We've okay. got some of these oats. Mm -hmm. So what what I have is some sliced almonds okay. and some macadamias. All right. So what we're gonna do is do a half a cup each of these. Okay. And then I also have for the dried fruit, I have some dried figs. Oh great. We'll okay. do a cup of these. Okay. So I'll give you the half cup. Mm -hmm and you can measure out a half cup of each of those and just throw them in the food processor. Okay, and I can get your scissors? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm prepared. Got the scissors. Mm -hmm. I love figs. I don't know if I've ever had a dried fig. It tastes like a fig. <laughs> <laughs> so that works. Okay, so we're gonna put a half a cup of the sliced almonds in there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and a half cup of the macadamia nuts. And I've got a cup of the figs going on over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Smash some in there. Perfect. Okay. If you'll pour those in there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do a of the oats. There we go. Okay. A 
and then we're going to process those. We will use more oats in this recipe. Some of them will be nice and uh, chewed up, and then mm -hmm. the rest will be uh, the regular shape. Okay. So start it on the other side, the top. Okay. Spin it, yep. And then right into there. Okay. And then if you want to turn that on. Do I need to hold this? I don't no. think so. Okay. Should be good. All right, let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty dang mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So we can pour that right in here into this bowl. Okay, so you want me to take the whole thing off then? Yep. We'll take this one uh -huh. and then just twist it that way. There it is. And then pull up. And yeah, take we can get rid of that right. too. Yeah, let's get rid of this right here. Too. Probably a good idea. We want to okay. keep our fingers today. <laughs> All right. Right into the bowl. Perfect. Yes, that looks good. Now over here on the stove, I'm gonna get a few things ready. I need a cup of peanut butter. Okay. I'm gonna do a half a cup of butter, and then we're gonna add a third of a cup of honey, and we're gonna get that nice and melted over here. Okay, so here's a cup. You said a cup of peanut butter or yep. half a cup? A okay. cup of peanut butter. Okay. And then if you'll open this, mm -hmm. that whole thing's gonna go in there. And you know you got a good recipe when you're putting a whole stick of butter in I there. I know, right? If you're gonna use butter, use the real thing. <laughs> go, and go go hard, you know, oh. you gotta use as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here's our butter. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna need a third of a cup of honey. All right. And I think there's a third of a cup measuring spoon up there. Okay. That's Let's see here. You know I don't have my glasses here. That's a quarter <laughs> cup. Yep, that and must be a third. third. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting there too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm having it's trouble hard reading. To squeeze it. My wife makes fun of me. Yeah, it's interesting how when you get over 40, right, things start changing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yes. Honey. Peanut butter okay. and butter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Get that nice and incorporated over here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And while this is melting over here, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got started with this organization, you know, kind of the history. Oh, yes, absolutely. Well, it's interesting because I wasn't trying to open a nonprofit organization initially. Uh -huh. I was looking to open up a for-profit company to service professional men. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. uh, my background is in fashion merchandising, and I just love professional dress. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. I've been in management in that area, so I wanted to service that client. Mm -hmm. However, as I was doing my research and I would look to, um, I was looking to build my business plan on information on the professional man, it was very interesting the statistics that I was finding. Mm -hmm. See, on the surface, looking, it looked like there were a lot of professional men doing very well, especially in the African American community. Mm -hmm. However, when I did my research, statistics kept coming back talking about high incarceration rates, mm -hmm. high high school dropout rates, um, high crime in our communities, which yes, I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. But at the time, when I was looking to open my for-profit business, I honestly can say that I did not know the dire need from what the statistics showed. Mm -hmm. So quite honestly, the more I tried to ignore it, the more I found the truth in it. Mm -hmm. And that's when one day I said, you know what? I need to look into this more. So right. my for-profit became a, a non-profit. Non -profit. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you found a, a need in the community and, mm -hmm. and you've are filling that need. Yes, you know, it's interesting. I've learned that most average males do not have basic employability skills. Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't have basic customer service skills, basic um, social and personal development skills, right. basic um, 
life skills as it comes to independent living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's becoming more and more common uh, because teachers are having to teach more and more of the math, science, reading, you know, that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. they can't teach those just basic life skills. Yep. And a lot of times they're not getting that at home. Mm -hmm. So That's the biggest problem. Yep. So while we're talking about your organization, I'm gonna add about four ounces of this dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, my favorite. <clears throat> and get this melted wow. down. And you did not know this, I have to say, before I came, you knew <laughs> nothing about what my nope. favorite things were. It just worked out perfect. It just worked out. Yes. All right, so awesome. we need to add a little more of the oats okay. to this. It's okay. gonna wind up being about a cup about and a cup? three quarters, I believe. Okay. Let me make sure that's right. So, hang on, nope, hang on, three quarters of a cup. Okay, so three quarters I, I'm of a not, cup. I can guess to make that yeah, a guess, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this Should is a half fine. a cup, and then I'm gonna just add a little bit more. Perfect. Yes, so may I ask you, what inspired you to start this awesome opportunity for agencies to come and talk about their causes and what they're doing? That is a great question. I'm, I'm actually glad you asked. I don't know if anybody's asked that before. Okay. This this show sort of evolved from a different show. The okay. other show that we had was called Gazoon Height to Your Health, and it was about healthy cooking, healthy living, healthy playing. Okay. And then it evolved into Gazoon Height on the road. And we were doing restaurants, people, places, just unique things in Douglas County. Mm -hmm. And we sort of exhausted the topics. We had been doing the show for, I think, uh, 14 years. Oh, wow. So it was time to change. Um, and one day I just had a eureka moment um, and I realized that all the time we were getting nonprofits and organizations asking us if we could do a public service announcement for them or a commercial or have them on one of our shows. Mm -hmm. But I thought, you know, rather than doing the boring sit down interview talking head type thing, why don't we take our cooking show and turn it into that? An opportunity for us to cook and to talk about the local organizations that are doing positive things in Douglas County. So that's kind of how it all came about. Wow, that is awesome. You had your aha moment like yeah, I did, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. That's looking good. Yes, oh gosh, it smells good too. It does. <laughs> So I'm gonna let this cool just okay. a little bit and we're gonna pour it into there. Oh, okay. And then we can mix it up. And it's gonna go into a parchment lined uh, pan, mm -hmm. nine by 13. Okay. And, uh, and then, like I said, it's gonna go into the freezer and it's going to sit until we're completely done. Typically you want it to sit for about two to three hours before you cut them, mm -hmm. but I think we're gonna we're gonna do it a little bit sooner than that. Make sure I get all this goodness in. All here. the goodness at the bottom, yes. yes. Nice. And mm -hmm. if you will incorporate mm -hmm. all that, I'll go get some water on this so okay. it doesn't stick. Yeah. That smells so good. It does, and it looks good. Mm. Here's our 9 by 13 okay. the parchment. Oh my gosh. I could just eat it out of the bowl. I know, right? You probably, I mean, you, you obviously could, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I guess we'll let it sit for a bit. <laughs> okay, very good. I think I got much of everything yes. incorporated here. Let me make sure. I love this spoon, too. I know, I was about to say, I, I love those silicone spatulas mm -hmm. because you can really get everything off of the bowl and yes, incorporate it. Yes, I need one of these. I'm a baker. I've never yes, seen one of these. Yeah, I'm going to have to find Where'd great. you get it from? I have no idea. I'm sure my mom <laughs> bought it for me. She yeah. got me all my good gadgets. Oh, mom, good one. Okay, so we'll just put this in here and put some more up here. Looking good, looking good. Yes, it is. Get all of that out of there. Mm -hmm. Who wants to lick the bowl? <laughs> Any me? 
Mini Money Mo. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll just do that there. Like yes, that. There perfect. You go. Okay. Looking good. We'll I'll let you spread that okay, out. You, you look like you're doing a fantastic <laughs> job. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> It. Yes, I think my family will enjoy this. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm just going to spread it They're up. sweetened with honey mm -hmm. and, and the, the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So, and, and you the can, figs, right? And the figs. Mm -hmm. The figs have some, some little sweetness. Bit of sweetness in there. Yeah. So, you're getting a little bit from, uh, you're getting a lot of natural sweetener. Guilt free. Yes, there you go. Okay, perfect. Oh, man, that looks great. This does. Okay, Fantastic. I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna get this in the freezer. Okay. We're gonna reset when we come back. I'm thirsty. Yes. Let's have some orange juice. Mm -hmm. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna squeeze some fresh orange juice. All right. I don't do this very often, okay. squeeze my own oranges. Me either. But it's worth it. Mm -hmm. The taste is amazing. Now I do have a juicer. Uh, but typically what you do is you put the entire orange in to the juicer and that can make it a little more bitter, not as sweet. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing is cutting the oranges in half okay. and juicing them with our juicers. We're going to juice into the pitcher here okay. and then we'll pour ourselves some to drink. Awesome. All right. So we cut this open and uh, I'll cut some in half. And if you want, you can go ahead and start juicing. Okay, I'll start juicing. Okay, so I'm going to switch this out here. Now, how long have you guys been around? Oh, that is a great question. We actually have been around since 2004. Okay, so you've been around a long time. Yes, we have. We have. We've actually provided services to over 1,500 men. Wow. and young adults here in the metro Atlanta area. That's awesome. Now, uh, you guys, how, how do you get your funding? Well, we operate as a social enterprise, actually. So okay. we partner with agencies, uh -huh. and we serve as a service provider for them. Okay. So they pay a small service fee, uh -huh. and then the clients come and get serviced in their mind at no charge. Awesome. One of our signature programs is our wardrobe and work, where we provide professional interview clothing. Uh -huh. um, so we get um, suits, dress shirts, casual shirts, blazers, shoes, khakis, ties, anything needed for an interview. Mm -hmm. Those things are donated to us. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our clients, when they come, if they have an upcoming interview, or if they're out job hunting, or if they're going to job fairs, if they're referred by an agency, they can come and go what I call shopping for a day, mm -hmm. and we provide them with a, a mini professional wardrobe. Okay. That is one of the funnest things to do. That's awesome. <laughs> now, I would be helping you here, but uh, my other squeezer is lemon-sized, so oh, yeah, it okay. doesn't work real well with the oranges. Okay, and I'm going kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll let you do a few and then I'll do some. Okay, it's all good, but this is cool. I think my daughter would love this tool. Yeah. The yes. actual juicers are a little faster, but when you don't do it that much, mm -hmm. it's not a problem to, to use the handheld. Mm -mm. This is great. And it smells good too. It does smell good. And you know what I would do? I would boil those uh -huh. to give off that fragrance throughout the house, yeah. kind of as an air freshener. A citrus-like yes. air freshener. You could, uh, you can take the zest off of there and use it. You uh -huh. can, uh, you could actually still pull the pulp out and eat it. Yes. Because it's still got juice in it. It does. Okay. All right, I'll take a turn. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let me borrow that. Mm, they smell so good. I, know. I can't wait to drink it. All right. Let's see. So, you know, one thing that we are in the process of doing, actually, we are looking for new board members. Okay. We are looking for new board members. Um, we're looking for people from diverse backgrounds, mm -hmm. meaning um, anything from education to business to banking, um, legal, mm -hmm. retail. Um, yeah, so we are right now accepting applications for new board members. 
what is the commitment for that? Is there you know a meeting every month, or how mm -hmm. does that work? Excellent. Um, one thing that we have in place is what's called a staggered board. So once an individual um, decides they want to be on the board, they have an option of committing to one, two, or three years. Okay. Okay. Um, we meet once a month. We ask for six hours a month of your time. Okay. which will include um, a board meeting, maybe if you're on a committee, mm -hmm. um, there may be some other tasks you might need to do just as a board member. Okay. But basically we ask for a commitment of six hours a month. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not bad at all. Mm -mm. And where do you guys meet? Um, we are, our office is in Douglasville, 8385 Cherokee Boulevard. Okay. So we would meet there. That's nice and local. Very local. Yes, I'm excited. I've partnered with some people here in the community, um, Connections, Family Resource Center, uh -huh. Midway Resource Center, and we're doing some, some awesome things. Um, we got some great things coming up in 2019 to be on the lookout for. Awesome. Mm -hmm. New programming. And what are some of the other things that you've done in the past? Oh, wow. That you want to talk about. Yes. Well, you know, one Brag thing about. that we just did in December, it was our eighth annual Toys from Daddy event, uh -huh. which was phenomenal. It is a free community event for fathers. Um, it's our way to celebrate dads. Uh -huh. I think we sometimes overlook our fathers. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, I've noticed a lot of times, holiday is not always a happy time for everyone. Yep. Especially if they're unemployed, if they may have some issues going on in the household. It can and be very stressful. It can be very, very stressful. So this event is an uplifting encouragement to our fathers. In addition to that, because we work with Toys for Tots, we provide them with toys for their children. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you this year, it was so awesome. We had such a good time. I'm still getting emails and calls thanking me for just um, providing them with the resource, number one, which were the toys. Number two, having people there that they could talk to, to mm -hmm. network with, and just creating an opportunity and giving them hope. Right. You know, that's what it's about, to give them hope. That's great. Mm -hmm. You've gotten two cups there, so that is awesome. Yeah. We're almost ready. Yes, and we have an upcoming event that I've been asked, uh, look, by popular demand, uh -huh. to bring back. Um, it's called the Image of a Man. Okay. It's another community event where um, we incorporate a panel discussion based on a topic of um, public interest today, like a current event, mm -hmm. and we incorporate a male fashion show. And we talk about current trends and what's going on in fashion for, for men, um, different styling tips and things of that nature. Right. And we incorporate from elementary to senior citizen. Mm -hmm. So it's an awesome event that I've been asked to bring back. So I will be having that this June, actually June 8th here in Douglasville. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Now. Whether we like it or not, the way you dress says a lot to people. Yes, it does. And especially when you're going into an interview. Mm -hmm. You know, business owners expect a certain type of professional attire, mm -hmm. depending on what you're doing, of yes. course. Um, but and, at the and same some, time, sometimes people don't know that. They don't. And um, in addition to what you're saying, you're absolutely right because. We don't realize that we are a brand, and mm -hmm. companies have a brand, yeah. and you have to be mindful of that. Right. So one thing that we teach is developing a personal and professional brand for yourself. You have to be position yourself to fit into a company's brand. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's that's just the way it it's works. It's just the I way guess. it is. All right. Are you yes. ready for this orange juice? I am ready for some fresh squeezed orange yes. juice this morning. Ah. Delicious. Mm. Uh, we are not, we don't have any sugar added to this. No, no sugar. sugar added, no artificial mm -mm. preservatives, mm -mm. none of that. This is straight out of the, out of the orange. Here we mm -hmm. go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. You can't make it any better. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Straight out of the orange, that is so good. That is delicious. Thank you. And if you don't want the pulp, you can strain it. 
Sure. But I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind care. either. It's not a lot. And it's no, good. No, mm -hmm. not a lot at all. Mm -mm. So when we come back, we're going to start our quiche recipe. And this is all making us smarter. It is. And uh, I'm not thirsty anymore, so that's good too. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. Last but not least, we got this quiche recipe. Yes. It's gonna have ham, cheese, and some spinach. Okay. So all of that is really good. Uh, you know, it's gonna tide you over. This could be a breakfast meal, this could be lunch, it could mm -hmm. be dinner, yes. anytime. Uh, I've already gone ahead and chopped up some onions mm -hmm. that are going, gonna go in there. Okay. They'll get sauteed in a minute. But the first thing we need to do is prepare the crust. Okay. So. I love these pre-prepared crusts. Mm -hmm. uh, they're easy to work with. Um, I got my pie slash tart pan, and we have to pre-bake the crust because mm -hmm. it won't cook all the way if we go ahead and fill it up with the egg mixture for the quiche. So what we'll do is just roll this out and get it nice and situated in the tart here and we can kind of stretch it to uh, fill and come up the sides yeah. and then once we get this done I'm gonna poke holes with a fork mm -hmm. for those of you at home who have never done this before you want to do that so that the steam can escape Yes. You don't want the dough to steam. Because mm -hmm, it'll start getting all puffed up, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I all can right. tell you're an expert at this. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to put some holes in this down here, mm -hmm. just all over. And that is the sound that our oven is ready for this pie crust. I preheated to 400 degrees, mm -hmm. and it's going to cook for about mm -hmm. five minutes. Once it finishes, uh, we will pull it out and let it cool off. And once we get our filling ready, Some thank chef. you, mm -hmm. thank you, uh, then we will um, be able to put our egg mixture in there. Okay. Now, one thing I do need is a baking sheet, which I'll grab over here. This makes it a lot easier to handle the pie. Okay. Put it on here. Uh, yeah. That way you're moving this mm -hmm. and not the uh, the mm -hmm. pie crust itself. Mm. All Good right. tip. So we're going in for five minutes. And we can start our sauteing of the onions mm -hmm. and then our diced ham mm -hmm. will go in there as well. Okay. Um, and if you want, uh, follow the directions down here. You're going uh, right here. Okay. You're going to be putting in the eggs, the half and half, cheese, parsley. Uh, I've got some pepper for you and uh, spinach. Perfect. And okay. then once that's done and this is done, we'll pour that into there. Yep. And we're ready to go. Okay. So I'll start with my eggs. Yes. Five eggs. Five eggs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, I'll grab you a whisk in just a second. Okay. I'm going to get a tablespoon of butter going. So I can saute these onions. I'm gonna grab a wooden spoon, grab you a whisk. Thank you. Half a cup. That's probably going to wind up being all the half and all half, the half we got half. there. Okay, so I just want to pour it in. Yes. Perfect. Okay, the half and half. Okay, so I'm going to get this whisked in. We got some brand new parsley over here, so I'm going to open this up for you if I can. 
Now, we talked about our wardrobe and work program. Um, I just want to say that we are always accepting donations of professional clothing. These are tax deductible, so if someone is interested in donating, they can reach out to us on our website, which is www.menswearinc.org. I'm glad you said that because that's one of the things we like to do with this show is give people the opportunity to actually help the organizations mm -hmm. that come on the show. So if you don't have the time to be a board member, you can donate some clothing. Mm -hmm. So go to the website and uh, check them out. Now, if I was at home, I'd gauge a half a cup by the palm of my hand. Yeah. And, but I will be, you know, <laughs> politically and just, adequately since correct on, here yeah. since we on TV. Yeah, I understand. We'll do that. So we'll use a measuring cup. That's about a half a cup. Cheese. I've added in our ham over here. Parsley flakes. I know about a half a teaspoon. I can gauge that. You can also do bacon over here if you want as well. Oh, yeah. But for today, we're just doing the ham. Okay. Okay, so we got our parsley flakes. You say you got some pepper for me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then our spinach. It is nice having somebody in the kitchen w with us on the show that knows what they're doing. <laughs> Sometimes that's not the case. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so we need about a spoon of pepper. Let's go and put that pepper in there. I'm going to gauge it. Looking good. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put on, um, it says about a, a half a cup to a cup. Yeah. Can we do a cup? Sure. Okay. Why not? Why not? It's good for you. It's good for you. So I think that might be a little bit more, but we're going to stir that sucker right on in there. This yeah. is teamwork right here. Wow. Teamwork, what they say, makes the dream exactly. work. Exactly. And I'm dreaming about this quiche. I can't I wait to taste it. I can't wait either. Okay, so I'm good on my yeah, end. Yeah, you're okay. done. All right, so I will pass this over to you. I just have did to... We, did we add sharp cheddar too? You want both? Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. okay. Let's do a yeah. half cup of that too. Okay, we'll do a half cup. Why not? I love cheese. Why not? Okay. This is almost ready. Okay. Our crust is coming out in about 10 seconds. I'll wait for the beak, just to be technical. Okay, there we go. It smells so good in here. Yes, it does. Yeah, we're popping popcorn over here. <laughs> I think this is done. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Okay, and this is ready when you are. All right, going in. So good. It is going to be so good. I'm going to have to try this recipe at home. Looking good. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we are ready to put this mm -hmm. into the pie crust. So we can slide this over. Yep. I'll grab the crust. I like spinach. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to make a creative decision 
based on what I see, which is what you have to do sometimes mm -hmm. when you're cooking. I want to add more eggs to that. Okay, sounds good. Because I to think me. we need more eggs. I Let's do, do about four more eggs. Okay. And we'll top that with some more eggs. I think mm -hmm. that's going to help bring it up to the mm -hmm. top mm -hmm. and uh, make it more like a quiche. Okay. We might even add some, some cheese to it. Let's the add eggs. some more cheese to it. Why I not? Mean, go Lena's big back or there go agreeing. Home. Lena says yes. Let's <laughs> add some more cheese. I'm in agreement with Lena. Okay, so here's You're good are four at cracking eggs. some eggs. Yes. Perfect. Uh oh, let's nice. see here. Um, make sure there's no shell in there. Yeah, that's that's the one thing about the brown eggs is is they're more likely to drop a shell in there. Uh -huh. so. That's okay. We're gonna get her out. There we go. Yeah, doing surgery. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna whisk that and a little bit more cheese. And this quiche is going to go in the oven at 400, I believe, uh, for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how quickly the egg cooks. That's what we want to check on. Should be able to put a, uh, when you wiggle it, it should not wiggle. Uh, and also, if you put a toothpick in, it should come out clean. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like making a cake. Make sure this, yeah, 400 degrees. 25 to 35 minutes. There's a, a lot of variance there depending on uh, the particular pie pan you put it in, how deep it is. There's some variables. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna top this. Smooth that mm -hmm. out. I like it. Yes, I, I think, think you're was, right. That's perfect. I think it was the right That was decision. a great decision, yep. Now it should right. fluff up a little bit. But we got plenty of room for that. And if you'll open the oven, mm -hmm. I'll get this in. Once again, 25 to 35 minutes. When we come back, we're gonna sample it all. The smell is amazing. Yes. It looks great. The quiche yes. came out, I would say, perfect. Mwah. It looks fantastic. Yes. Can't wait to taste Can't it. What do you wait. wanna taste first? The quiche. The quiche, let's mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Still a little hot. That's all right. Mm. The eggs set nicely. Yes, it did. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Love it. That is delicious. That's a winner. Mm-hmm. That is a winner. Mm. I can't wait till we're done filming so I can eat the rest of that. Mm -hmm. Same here. <laughs> All right, let's try these dark mm -hmm. chocolate bars. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a guilt-free dessert. Mm. That is really good. Mm -hmm. My wife is going to love me if I mm. make these. That is really good. Not that she doesn't love me already. She just love me more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I think we did well. Mm. We got our orange juice to wash mm. it down. Yes, fresh squeeze. This was a successful meal. Brain healthy foods. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being mm. on the show. Thank you. And we like to encourage people to get involved with local charities. Uh, do something positive. So if they want to do something with you, yes. once again, what's your contact information? Wonderful. You could um, go to our website, which is www.menswearinc.org, or you can email us at info at menswearinc.org. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching Servings Kitchen with a Cause. We'll see you next month.